everyone. Welcome back to the shop everyone. I'm Mike Morazzo, the Midnight Handyman. And in today's video, it's Shop Tour 2019. I know it's March, but I have been kind of busy the last three months. So stick around to see how my shop is set up. Okay guys, this is the end of my shop, the far side of the shop, where I'm eventually going to be putting a wall up. I had marked the wall over here with some blue tape, but I think I'm actually moving it over another 16 inches or so. Uh, for a number of reasons, there's an outlet here and this vent I want to keep in the shop. And uh, so I'll put the wall here. Uh, my drum set will be on that side then and it should stay free of dust once I clean them all. And then I'll extend the uh, door wall here, out here, and I'll have the HVAC system no longer in the shop where it makes noise and of course dust goes in there which is can't be good I'm not an HVAC guy but I think I'm pretty educated to know that's not good for an HVAC system so starting the tour uh, this is my cabinet where I keep all my painting supplies screws uh, caulks rags you name it rollers all that stuff is inside there uh, to the right of that well up, actually up on the top of that I have some storage which I need to clean up uh, to the right is that of that is my uh, dust collector I bought off of Craigslist for a hundred bucks. It was used three times by some guy doing home remodeling or something. He says he used it as a vacuum. Uh, it's Harbor Freight and eventually I will do a hack for it where I put an actual regular canister filter on it and a cyclone system underneath it. Uh, that's going to be a future build video as well. Over here we have the miter station and the entertainment center. Uh, I need music and videos while I'm down here. So I took my old 50 inch plasma television, put it down here, and then I, I got a DVD player. I should upgrade to Blu-ray. And then of course the receiver and my iPods in there. And I can just jam music or watch great videos like that one, World Series winning Chicago White Sox from 2005. Uh, to the right of that, is the actual miter station itself. But underneath this bench, I have a ton of storage. Uh, all my, not all my tools, a lot of the tools that require cases such as nail guns and routers, uh, sawzalls and the like, uh, a gun cleaning box right there because I like to clean my guns down here. Uh, I have a wet saw over here, one of those tiny ones uh, for doing tile work. I also have a bigger one upstairs. And then, of course, up here on top, uh, what makes this miter station so great, it goes to 107 inches to the left of the blade, and it has this sliding, locking, j bait style block. So I actually downloaded the plans from j Bates, uh, one of my favorite YouTube follows. But when I started pricing stuff out for this size of a miter station, I mean, this thing's huge. The cost for the birch plywood I wanted to use was way too much for my liking. So uh, when we get to the miter saw itself, inside for dust collection I have a toilet flange and it comes out underneath and I can hook up my 4 inch dust collector or my shop vac by taking this thing off. Uh, hook it up right there and it draws all the dust in. I plan on closing this off even more when I'm just doing straight cuts like this to help even more. Above that, I have all of my battery operated tools and one uh, plug-in circular saw. So I will be moving these to the opposite side of the shop and I'll explain that to you in a minute. To the right of the miter station, Ah, oh, geez, I've had that metal white drawer unit for probably 25 years. I keep things like, uh, you know, drill bits and electrical tape and wood chisels and stuff like that in there, wrenches, files, knives and blades, putty knives, screwdrivers. Uh, up on top, of course, uh, nuts, bolts, screws, blah, 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 pencils over there, got my blow tape, blow propane blowtorch right there and over here hey there's an old picture from like 1985 <laughs> I used to be pretty thin um, this is my tool wall so as you can see I never had a tool wall until I built this one 
and I'm not a fan of pegboard because every time I've seen it, it's crappy and falling apart. Yet, this thing's awesome. Uh, it was a pain in the butt to mount the wood strips to the concrete, but that being said, I don't know what I would do without this thing. I know where every tool on this wall is. Uh, levels and carpenter squares, screwdrivers, pliers, you name it, it's up here. Coping saw, sawzall, hack blades, blah, blah, blah. Got some, uh, also some clamps from Craig, all my tapes, pipe cutters, okay, all that stuff. Uh, router bits over here and uh, over here and all my tape measures behind this job I got to build for a friend right there. So good stuff on that wall. Below that is my WEN uh, 4 by 36 inch belt and 6 inch disc sander. Love this thing. Um, I mounted it right to the bench. Solid as a rock. Uh, I bought all WEN tools because I'm just starting out and these things are great. Uh, dust port right there. Uh, I can just bring over my shop bag and plug it in or I'm going to be getting a reducer from that 2 inch to the 4 inch so I can hook up the big hose. Uh, to the right of that is a pull out cart with my WEN thickness planer on it. I just wheel it out and then I open it up and I can use it anywhere in the shop. Next to the right of that is a WEN 6 inch jointer. Uh, there's the dust collection port there. Also on a wheeled cart, I can take that out and move it on the other side of my assembly table and have lots of room to joint wood. Uh, below that I have a Craftsman router table that I bought on clearance from Sears for like a hundred bucks with the router and everything else on it. Uh, I think that was a pretty good deal. I just placed it up on top of my assembly table. But I would like to build a nice router table next to my table saw with a router lift and all that stuff for my Bosch router. Uh, next to that I have my WEN 10 inch bandsaw with stand which I don't like because it, the legs flare out to the right and left and it takes up room so I might build a roll around cart for that and then I would roll it right back into this space because I have nowhere else to put it. To the right of that I have two more benches. That These were the first two benches I built down here and on this bench I have my mechanics vise. I have my uh, WEN again bench grinder and the WEN drill press next to that and at all times I have my mom watching me. I miss you mom. This was taken 20 years ago uh, when I graduated the police academy. Uh, underneath the bench that mom looks over I have some Osborne wood soft maple turned legs that I will be using for a, a bathroom vanity build for my bathroom upstairs and then all the supplies for my electrical job I'm doing down here. Got my shop vac and stool. Uh, step ladder. Stools are here. I got some stools underneath there that I whip out when I'm doing my editing. This is the Craig Jig workstation. I hook up my vacuum to the front of that and I turn on this dust um, purifier, air purifier right here. And then I got my battery station over here with my scroll saw that I paid like 50 bucks for on Craigslist. And then of course my one of my favorite tools, my Keurig. Mmm, got lots of good coffees in there. I got some decaf and regular, and then I got some pumpkin spice. Giddy up. Uh, underneath here, I have a microwave. I'm still debating if I'm going to mount that somewhere, plug it in, along with my small toaster oven my buddy gave me. That thing is a beer fizzer. So you just put beer in there, like your bottle, and it carbon carbonates it and makes it taste unbelievable. And of course, my Chinese made um, dust collector, which goes to the shop vac. That thing's uh, pretty good. It served me well for a long time. Over here is the beer fridge. I need to get some um, more beer in here. Uh, short fuse beer is the type of beer I want to put in here. Uh, check them out on Google, short fuse. All right, up on top here, I have an I-beam, of course, that runs all the way through here. So. I just put clamps up there. Uh, I think it's a great use of space and uh, have been doing that for a while. Over here to the right of the refrigerator is the HVAC system and you can see with the tape on the floor where the walls are going to be. It's not going to leave me a lot of room on this side of my saw, but that's okay. Uh, I can walk around from the other side. 
So this is my saw. It is a Laguna Fusion 2 cabinet saw. I did a lot of research when I was looking for saws. I would have purchased the saw stop, but uh, this saw, in my opinion, is just as good, except it will just chop off my hand if I touch the blade, as opposed to the saw stop. Uh, behind the saw is my outfeed slash assembly table. This is where I used to have my old Craftsman worksite table saw when this assembly table was much bigger. I'll show you a photo of that right here. Then on this side of the assembly table slash outfeed table, more clamp storage. This is where I would like to build a cabinet next to the um, uh, cabinet saw with the drop-in router and a router lift and the cabinet with doors. I can, I'll paint it black and then make the top level so I can use this whole, whole top of the saw. So back to this um, assembly table slash outfeed table uh, underneath there. I just picked this up not long ago. Let me turn the light on here real quick. It is a Delta Mortiser. I'm going to be doing some cool furniture builds, so I'm looking forward to using that for the first time. Another Craigslist buy. Craigslist is great, as long as you don't get, you know, killed and stuff by meeting the people. Okay, uh, I think that concludes the tour, except on this side of my assembly table, I have more clamps. The uh, quick clamps sit great here. Got a brush for the top of the table, and then hook up my vacuum, and I can sweep everything into here with the vacuum on and get the table clean that way. Over here I have my compressor, which normally goes right there, but we've had a few vehicles with low tires, so we've been bringing that thing up and down. I'm gonna have a pull-out drawer here for that compressor, and what I would really like to do is make a hole here, or up on, not up on top, probably right out the side here where I can just plug my hose into the side, and then I can have free reign of use around the shop. So that concludes the tour of the shop uh, with one last thing here. Oh yeah, the Bulls, six-time NBA champs. Uh, haven't done much since. So uh, that's it. Well, that's the tour, guys. I appreciate you stopping by my channel and taking a tour with me of my shop. I wanted to mention a few things about the shop in reference to good and bad of having a basement shop as opposed to a shop in your garage. Uh, I would love a shop in my garage, but I also like to park my, park my cars in there and hang bikes and stuff like that. Also in the Midwest here, we get pretty humid and I would have to add air conditioning and stuff out there so my stock wouldn't warp. This past summer, I had a few sheets, like eight of three quarter inch plywood that I left out there on the ground flat for about a month because I was bringing stuff in and out and working slowly on some side jobs and some of it started to warp. I was unable to use about three sheets of that for a customer so I ended up building some stuff around the shop here with it. So the basement allows me to have climate controlled abilities and I run a dehumidifier down here over there in the corner uh, spring through fall shut it off in the winter time like everywhere else because it's already dry enough in here. Also, I wanted to mention over here to my left and your right, uh, underneath the grinder and the drill press, once I get rid of these Osborne wood turned maple legs that I'm gonna be using for a, a bathroom vanity build of mine here at the house and my electrical supplies, I'm gonna put a bank of drawers under there. I can probably get about nine good sized drawers under there also to the bench next to it that has the Craig Jig workstation and the scroll saw, I can get about six drawers under there. That will allow me to take all the tools that are in the cases over here underneath the media center and the miter station, take them out, put them in those drawers, and then put those cases upstairs in the attic until I forget about them uh, and find them when I'm moving. So. With all that said, I appreciate you stopping by. Please follow me on Instagram at The Midnight Handyman. On Facebook, The Midnight Handyman. Not The Midnight Handyman down somewhere else in San Antonio, Texas that's a plumber. The original Midnight Handyman. Also, uh, 
that's it I think I don't know what else I want to tell you except thanks again uh, if you like the video please hit the thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button the little moon with my logo on it down in the corner and of course share the video with your friends thanks